Hello everyone and welcome back for this video. In today's video I wanted to make an abstract mineral art that looks almost like a shimmery, glittery... Yeah, uh, I, wa I wanted to see some light coming through the canvas. Before we started, if you want to know how I've made everything and if you want to know every product that I use, if you want also to know how I did my textured background, you will need to subscribe to my Patreon page. Everything is linked down in the description if you want to have more information. So let's start here. I will uh, paint my background color. I will only use two uh, mix of color, one uh, more of a paints gray. This is a grayish blue mixed with some white and a little bit of black. And I'm going, the reason why I'm using only two colors is it is just so uh, I have a, a more neutral background. And after this, I'm going to uh, glaze uh, bright colors, uh, yellow, orange, purple, blue. I wanted to have a more neutral color uh, on my background. And also I'm going to play with shadows and highlights just so when, when I will apply my color uh, glazing after, you will uh, be able to really see them. If you apply a yellow on top of a dark blue, you will not see a thing, but if you apply yellow uh, on top of a white background, you will have really the potential of the, the yellow hues that will really, that will, um, really pop in the in the painting so that's why i'm using this technique so i'm going to apply two coats for my background color as you know i like my coats of paint to be really thin and i don't want people to be able uh, to see the brush strokes so that's why i'm doing two coats I'm also focusing on blending my two colors. Uh, I often use one large brush uh, with no water in it to, to blend my colors. This is a matter of wetness of the paint. If your paint is too dry, you will not be able to drag and move the pigment. But if your paint is uh, still moist, you will be able here, as you see, to move the color and create nice blendings. Of course, I'm going to add a second coat because as you see here, uh, the first coat is a little bit too transparent due to the fact that I am using thin coats of paint. But this is not a problem because acrylic paint really dries quick so you can go over uh, like in, in one hour, uh, even half an hour. So now I'm going to concentrate on highlights and shadows. This will be the first steps to get the, the, this kind of shimmering painting that, that I wanted here. I try to blend these to get this halo of light coming through the painting. Here I'm making my usual line for my mineral. Uh, look, I wanted to have like a kind of stone look that I really like, so I'm making these lines and I'm going to concentrate those lines in the outer corner of my painting so I don't really um, hide the fact that I want my, hi my highlighted glittery part in the center. I really try to take my time and have nice blendings and yeah I like also to use makeup brushes I get asked but you really cannot find uh, brushes like this in the art store and that's why I used uh, these makeup brushes I found maybe one brand but uh, they, they were loses losing their hairs everywhere, their bristle. So I've used this kind of make makeup brushes and I think this work 
really great for painting. Sometimes you don't need to go to the art store, but yeah, think different. Try try things from the hardware store or for makeup brushes, and you will find the most uh, beautiful products here that will help you create unique art. And yeah, I like to mix those things together. So here we are. I've almost, I'm almost done with my highlights and shadows and we are going to apply colors on top of it. I'm starting with uh, blue. This is the uh, phthalo blue, I think. And if you use a small amount of color, uh, it is transparent, so you will still see your design that you already made uh, before. Here, uh, it is my mixing palette with different hues of yellow, orange, red oxide, and also purple that I really like to, to use together. And this will give a glittery, uh, almost magical effect to the painting. So here uh, I've also used, as you can see here, a spray can of uh, white paint. I've used this because I thought my white was not as white as I wanted. And so, yeah, I've used my spray can. I should have used way before uh, adding the white and it took really some time to apply it but with the spray can it is easier and more efficient so I, I should have used this before here here you can have a better view of all of the colors that i'm using i am also going to add more white to create those tiny highlights because with the color we added on top it kind of raised the the highlight part the white part so i'm going to bring back those highlights and that's what is going to create this uh, shimmery effect. I'm also going to add more tiny details with smaller brush, add lines, little dots, highlights, shadows. Now it is time to add the gold and for this I'm using here uh, a gilding paste. This is a liquid adhesive for uh, gold leaf. You let it dry 15 minutes, it will uh, still get uh, tacky and then you will be able to add the gold leaf on top. You can use any gold leaf. Uh, I'm using uh, aluminum based gold leaf. I think they are, these are more uh, shiny and mirror-like. Uh, I will put you the link uh, of the leaves in the description. So yeah, I often get asked this question. So now I carefully add the leaves on top of each part where I have my uh, 3D paste. And then I remove all of the excess gold. You really need to have like a soft brush so you don't uh, scratch the gold. And you can see now why I, uh, I have my a base, a 3D base for my gold. That's because uh, now I can have a nice mirror, mirror like finish to my painting. If I have applied my gold uh, directly onto the canvas you will end up to see the, the the woven canvas in the gold and that's that's not what I wanted so here I'm finishing as always I try to take a break on my painting I add the gold and I see what I can add or not or remove or change and sometimes I add more white and here I've added more highlights here I'm adding a little bit of brown and also some teal just to age the, the gold and make it more, uh, more 3D and more used, I think. 
I want to thank all of my patrons here who support the channel, who support my art journey. Really, thank you. If you've liked this video, give a thumbs up. It really helps the channel to grow. And also subscribe if you don't want to miss my uh, next videos. I wish you all a great day and see you for another one. Bye. Bye, guys.